Hey, what's going on, you guys? My name is The Raptor, and welcome back to Hoodwin and Why. And this time, we got Blue Beetle going up against Generator Rex, the battle of the two teenage one-man armies. Now, before I move on, I just want to say that, yes, this video was supposed to come out earlier this week. It's, um, it's like a bigger gap in between episodes than some of the other episodes I've done, um, earlier this season. And I'm sorry about that. It was supposed to come out earlier, but, you know, it, it's here now. I know some of you guys were excited for it. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it. I'm sorry about the wait, but, you know, just... My life slapped me in the face. Um, but anyway, let's get right into it. So, who'd win and why? Let's find out. So first I'm going to talk about Blue Beetle. Now, this goes for both Blue Beetle and Generator Rex, but both Blue like but Blue Beetle does have a lot of abilities that's not really relevant to a fight. You know, he does have other abilities. I can't really think of any at the top of my head. Um, but if I did try to um to, to say all of them, first of all, the video would be way too long. And second of all, just it would be just too little of relevance, I feel, to this topic, and it just wouldn't really affect anything in the outcome. And this goes for Generator Rex as well, but kind of more so for Blue Beetle. Um so yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way. Way. Um, but yeah, let's talk about Blue Beetle. So Blue Beetle, we're using the third Blue Beetle. I know that there have been at least three. I believe there's only been three, but someone can correct me on that if I'm wrong. Um, I know the first one was Dan Garrett, and the second one was Ted Cord. And this is obviously Jaime Reyes, the third Blue Beetle, and he has the Scarab, which is kind of bonded to him. The Scarab is its own artificial intelligence, so it has its own consciousness. It can produce its own thoughts, and it's basically bonded to Jaime and can actually speak to Jaime almost like in a voice inside his head. I um, mean, only Jaime can hear it, and that's really cool when it comes to when, it, when talking about strategy, you know, if the, if the Scarab needs to tell something to Jaime that he doesn't want his enemies to know about, you know, only Jaime can hear the Scarab, and that's something really cool. Um, some of the other stuff that the Scarab can do, it, it can track anything that produces energy, um, whether it be, like, physical or technological or anything like that, which I just think is really cool, and it can also scan his opponents um, for any major physical conditions or just to figure out who the enemy is. And then what after the Scarab has done that, can actually tell Jaime in a way he understands, so then both of them are aware of it. So they kind of do a little bit of a teamwork type thing, and I think that's really cool. Um, but now, anyway, trying to talk about what the scare. Let, let's talk about what the scarab can actually like. What it gives Jaime the ability to do, like strength, speed, and durability, and all that stuff. Um, when it comes to strength, the scarab itself is not all too strong. But when it's bonded with a host, um, it can lift. Um, the host can lift like over twenty tons, a bit over twenty tons. And to put that in perspective, that's over forty thousand pounds, twice as strong as how strong Spider Man is believed to be. As many people have said that he can lift about ten tons. Obviously, Obviously, he might, have, he might lift more than that now, but you guys get what I'm saying. 20 tons is a lot, and he's even been able to, to like, catch a pickup truck with one arm. And, like, a pickup truck is, like, five tons, so if we do that with, like, two arms, that means he could po potentially, like, catch 10 tons of force, and that's probably even more because of the impact force and everything like that, but the point is, Blue Beetle is very strong when you compare him to a regular human. He's very strong um, with the Scarab, you know, bonded to him, so that's really cool. Um, when it comes to speed, on the ground, um, Blue Beetle has been shown to actually move faster than the eye can track. It can actually appear in multiple places at once to a human eye, which is extremely fast when you think about it. Um, but he doesn't also just go fast on the ground, he also goes fast in the air. He has his wings um, that he can use um, for... It, they're not all too fast, but they're, they're generally used for just like traveling or hovering or like um, close maneuverability and stuff like that. Um, he can sacrifice close maneuverability if he um, accesses his jet engines, which does um, allow him to go faster, but like I said, it will sacrifice some maneuverability, but that's okay. He can basically just change it up depending on what he needs to do. If he needs to be maneuverable, if he needs to be able to go fast, you know, stuff like that. When it comes to durability, this guy's durability is insane. Not only can he create energy shields, which are tough enough to block a Sinestro Corps um, ring blast, which is really impressive, but also just the Scarab itself. Um, he's been able to, you know, take um, tank nukes before, you know, nukes like weapons of mass destruction, and he's been able to, like, take hits from many powerful characters, including Black Beetle and Lobo and other very strong, um, villains and even some heroes as well, and he's been able to survive atmospheric re-entry without, it seems that he didn't really, um, take much damage, and that's really impressive because that's not only, like, showing how much impact he can take, but also how much heat he can, he can take, um, and, you know, he's going extremely fast, and he can survive a fall to the earth, 
with seemingly taking no damage at all, and that's very impressive. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the dur- and he obviously does have his shields in case he finds that it's not, that he needs to have more durability, he has his energy shields, um, so that's really interesting as well. Um, when it comes to his versatility level, his versatility level is just beyond insane. Um, he can create many different weapons um, out of his armor, including, you know, like, energy cannons, a sword and a shield, energy blasters, wings, claws, even those long, um, it's almost like he turns his hand into, like, a long... Uh, sharp thing or whatever. I think I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Like you know when he can turn his maybe maybe not, but they're they're like very sharp and he can sh- and he can actually um, shear through tree trunks, which is very impressive. But the point is he can create a lot of different weapons. You know like he doesn't always create like some of the weirder things like a sword and a shield. Um, but you know he is ext- and generally likes to stick to like energy cannons and wings. But he does seem to have a very um, like a very broad spectrum or like a very extensive spectrum of how much he can create he can actually create. Um, you know. So his limit hasn't really been known before. No one really knows what his limit is. Um, although he has been shown to like modify his own body if he needs to. Like the, the scarab can actually offer to give him extra fingers, um, which means that he is extremely versatile. And we don't really know what his limit is. It might it might be limitless. Who knows? Um, and he can create you know basic stuff just out of the scarab if he really wants to. Um, he also has some weapons of mass destruction as well. Like he can actually produce a nuke um, if he really wants to, like a nuclear explosion. Um, he doesn't do this. Some of you maybe you're wondering, well, why haven't I seen this before? Well, that's because Jaime doesn't really want to kill anyone. Obviously, it's a different here, I mean, who'd win and why, but he doesn't want to kill anyone. The Scarab doesn't always agree, um, but, you know, the point is, he doesn't want to kill anyone, he doesn't use his more powerful weapons, and he doesn't, like, amp them up to the point that he can actually kill a person because he doesn't want to kill anyone. Um, so that's, so Blue Beetle is a lot more powerful than some people think. Um, the, the Scarab, I believe, also support, like, has a life support system, which can actually, like, slowly heal Jaime, um, if he, if he if he gets um, hurt a lot, so um, that's also something that's really going to help him in the fight. Um, so yeah, that's that's a lot of what he can do. He can also modify his abilities, um, you know, based on um, what his opponent's weaknesses are. Like for when I think at one point, like he was actually able to change his energy blast to kryptonite blasts when actually like an encounter with Superman, and that's really impressive. You know, actually being able to change your abilities and like what your abilities can do on the fly, um, that's really impressive. I think, and that means like if he can scan his opponent and figure out what their weaknesses are, he can actually change up his fighting style and his um, his abilities based on what the weaknesses are of his opponent. And that means that he can adapt really well. Um, Jaime himself isn't all too smart. He is pretty smart, but he's not, like, insanely smart, like Tony Stark smart. Um, the Scarab is generally where he gets a lot of, it, a lot of like, the technological information, and then again, he changes it into a way that Jaime can understand when he needs to talk to him, um, you know, and, like, tell him everything that he needs to know. Um, but yeah, so so that's a lot of what Blue Beetle. That's that's pretty much what Blue Beetle can do. Um, he's fought a lot of different villains and even some heroes over the years. And he's worked with a lot of different heroes. He's worked with the Teen, with the teen Titans. He's worked with Justice League International. He's worked by himself. Um, so yeah, he is really a one man army when you think about it. He can create a ton of different weapons, the limits of which are unknown. He can also like change his um like change his like modify his body if he needs to. The Scarab can actually do that, which might be a bit painful. Um, but he can do that. That's really interesting. And then he also has, you know, extreme strength, speed, durability. Um, yeah, that's really what Blue Beetle can do. He's, I think he's really cool. Um, okay, so now let's move on to Generator Rex. Now, as I said with Blue Beetle, he does have some other abilities such as EVO, EVO, EVO. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call them EVOs just in, just in case, um, you know. Well, not really just in case, but I'm just going to refer to them as EVOs. Um, but yeah, he can, like, cure EVOs as well, but, like, that's not really something that's going to play much into the fight. So stuff like that I'm just going to, like, leave out. Um, I'm just going to get into the important things. Now, Generator Rex, his na- real name is Rex Salazar, and he is, um, you know, he's an EVO himself. He has nanites inside his body, which actually enhance, which actually give him enhanced strength, speed, durability, um, reflexes, stuff like that. Um, not, not to, like, such an extreme level, but more so, like, to above average, maybe maybe superhuman, maybe just super soldier level, who knows, um, but yeah, like, the nanites inside his body actually allow him to have more, um, strength and speed and durability than a regular person, durability is actually really insane, I'll get to that, um, in a second, but yeah, um, that's really, like, he has nanites inside his body, but he can also control the nanites inside his body to create machines out of his body, um, he does have a lot of different machines, I'm just gonna see if I can remember all of them, so he does have his smack hands, which are giant, which are ginormous hands, which give him incredible incredible strength when it comes to striking and lifting. They're like, they're really big hands. Um, and he also has his big fat sword, um, 
um, which is his sword that he used, which can cut through many different things. Um, speaking of cutting, he also has his, like, battle saw, his buzz saw thing that he can turn either one of his hands into. Um, and, you know, that's very practical for cutting, like, tentacles of, like, a very large EVO. Um, yeah, he fights giant EVOs on a regular basis, you know, ones that can destroy buildings. So that's something really impressive that he does. He, like, pretty much fights titans. Uh, not exactly, but you guys get what I'm saying. Um, and then what else? He also has his punk busters, which I believe are, like, gigantic boots, which allow him to jump extremely far, but they also allow him to kick really hard. Um, so, you know, it's almost like... Um, smack hands, but for his feet, essentially. Um, he also has his Rex ride, which is almost like a motorcycle that he creates that he can ride along. Like some, like they're basically for offense, defense, and traveling. Um, is basically what his main um weapons are used for. He also has his, I believe it's called a boogie pack, which is like his jet pack that he has, which can allow him to fly at incredible speeds. Um, I, I'm just trying to remember what else he has. He has a slam cannon, which doesn't produce its own ammo. I believe it almost like takes whatever is behind it, almost like if there's like a rock, and then he almost like will take it and then it will shoot out the rock with an extreme amount of force. So he doesn't produce his own ammo, but it does mean that like he, if he has ammo like lying around, he can definitely use it. So that's something really interesting as well that he can do. Um, I feel like there's one one thing that I'm missing, another another weapon that I'm missing or something. Oh yeah, he also has like a combat drill, um, which is something that you know he can use for drilling, almost like tunneling. Um, he does ha also have some other abilities I believe he uses with like his Omega-1 Nanite, I think it's called, such as um, Block Party, which are like different shields, and Sky Slider, I think it's called, which allows him to like like, do something weird, like, almost, like, travel along walls or something like that, maybe, I, I haven't watched much of the show, so I don't exactly know what the exact things are, like, what, ex what they can exactly do, but, um, you know, generally, he likes to stick to his own, like, orange, um, weapons that he uses, you know, like, the smack hands and the big fat sword and the slam cannon, those are the ones that he's most known for using. Originally, I believe he could only use one of these at a time, but now we can use two, so if he wanted to use his big fat sword along with a slam cannon, you know, Knock yourself out. Um, so yeah, that's something really interesting it can do. When it comes to his personality, um, originally he was very overconfident and very, um, you know, like, uh, impulsive, I guess I should say. He has started to get better, and he does, um, do better when it comes to planning, and he ha does show that he does care for his friends, but, um, you know, he, he can still be overconfident and can still crack jokes on the battlefield, um, sometimes if he feels that he is a bit overconfident. Um, also if he, um, if he gets, um, like, weakened, not, not weakened, but if it's like, if he gets stressed stressed out or anything like that or if he's under pressure then you know the um the weapons that he creates will be a bit harder to create you know sometimes they'll just disassemble in front of him um so that's something that won't always um that won't always be good for him but you know that's only if he's like under extreme pressure extreme stress or if he's like exhausted um yeah that's that's the word i was looking for so yeah that happens as well um so yeah you can use two at a time he has fought like extremely tough um, people before, like, he's fought, um, Ben 10 in his, ult like, when he was Ultimate Alien, which is beyond impressive, and he even fought, like, when he was Humongousaur, which, again, is, like, extreme, like, that's something very impressive that, that's, that's something I did, wouldn't expect him, him to be able to do, um, but, you know, like, just using the smack hands, the incredible strength, I believe the smack hands have been able to, like, lift up a building before, um, which is, which is very impressive, I keep saying impressive, but that's because it is, um, when it comes to his, like, like, and that's basically where he gets most of his strength from, like, you know, his strength and speed, he gets a lot of that when he uses his boogie pack, when he uses his smack hands, you know, that's re that's really when he gets, like, a big increase in strength and speed. When it comes to durability, not only does he have healing, I believe, like, his nanites allow him to heal, um, like, even if he's, like, almost dead, you know, like, he can heal from that, you know, um, that's something that he can do, um, it seems that he uses his healing more than Blue Beetle does, but I'll get into that later, uh, but not only that, but he's been able to survive, you know, like, extreme punches, like, he's been able to, like, be thrown into, um, concrete without any serious injury. Injury. He was even struck by freaking lightning without being, um, without, like, sustaining any serious injury. And, you know, like, I know some of you maybe think, well, people have survived lightning before. Okay, well, first of all, not everyone has survived, um, a bolt of lightning before in their lives. Not everyone survives. And second of all, they they have to go to the hospital if they want to survive. So... You know, just tanking essentially, like essentially tanking a bolt of lightning. That's very impressive, and that's not with, and that's like without using any of his other um, abilities. You know, that's um, that's just him. His nanites giving him um, extra durability. Um, so yeah, he's he's basically fought a lot of different EVOs over the years. Um, he generally worked like in combat. Generally, he works by himself, which is 
good, essentially, for, like, a one-on-one -on -one fight. Um, so, yeah, he does have a lot of experience. He is extremely smart as well. He seems to be smart, like, smarter than the average teenager. Um, I believe, like, he got, like, a 98% on, like, a very hard trigonometry test, test or something. Again, not to the level of, like, Tony Stark or anything like that, but some people could would consider him, like, a child genius. So that's really impressive. Um, so, yeah, that's basically, that's the basics of what Generator Rex can do. He can create many different machines out of his body, and he can heal if he sustains serious injury, but it's hard to injure him because, you know, well, with it's hard to really injure him because, you know, he can take, like, like very powerful punches, um, and he can be struck by freaking lightning. Um, so, yeah, that's basically the basics of Generator Rex. So, trying to figure out who would win this fight. Now, um... Obviously, early, if you've watched my other episodes of this season of Who Would Win and Why, you'll know that I thought that, like, th every episode leading up until this point is, like, extremely close. Um, this fight, while, I, while it's not the closest fight ever, I can see why someone would say the opposite of what I'm about to say. Um, I don't know a ton about either character. I definitely know more about Blue Beetle than I do Generator Rex. Um, although I do believe I know enough to give a good answer about um, who, who I believe would win. I believe I do know enough. Um, so, yeah. that's uh, I, I can see why someone would think the other way around. Um, I'm just going to say it right now. I personally believe that Blue Beetle would win the fight. And I know some of you immediately are just going to be typing down saying, oh, you just you just think Blue Beetle's going to win the fight because you know him more. Well, you know what? Maybe that's true. This is just my opinion. And I don't know a ton about either character. But I do believe that I know enough to give a good answer. And then hopefully my explanation will clear up exactly what I'm thinking and why I think this. Um, but if you do think Generator Rex would win, you know that's perfectly fine. You can tell me in the comments below. Tell me why. If you think Blue Beetle would win for a reason I'm not going to say, you know, you can tell me that as well. Um, but anyway, so so here's what, well, first let me, let me say the, the, um, the advantages that I believe Generator Rex has over Blue Beetle. So Generator Rex, the advantages that he has, first of all, strength. Some of you may not agree with me on this, but I do personally believe that Generator Rex is stronger than Blue Beetle when he's using his smack hands. When he's not using his smack hands, definitely Blue Beetle is stronger because um, Generator Rex does have enhanced strength, but Blue Beetle has been able to like, catch a pickup truck with one arm and lift well over 20 tons. So that's um, definitely, if he's not using his smack hands, Blue Beetle just with his fist is definitely stronger. But if we're using the smack hands, like the most power, like the, mo the strongest version of generator rex when he's using his his um uh his machines you know he um he's been able to lift up a building before now i never saw that episode if he could lift up a building or not like when, when he lifted up a building um so basically if i lowball everything saying it's like a like a house like the the a house that could weigh like as le the least amount as possible that would be about 40 tons that he would be lifting if he's lifting like a full-on skyscraper basically highballing everything then he'd be lifting in the two in like the hundreds of thousands of tons Yes, tons, not pounds. Um, so no matter how we slice it, um, Blue Beetle, no, sorry, Generator Rex with the smack hands is definitely stronger than Blue Beetle. Um, probably by a pretty big margin, because I'm assuming it's probably more than 40 tons. Probably if I'm, like, trying to, to have an estimate, it would be in the thousands of tons. Maybe not in the hundreds of thousands, but still, like, the thousands of tons. And that's much stronger than what Blue Beetle is, just generally. Um, the other advantage, and that's the biggest advantage that I say that Generator Rex has over Blue Beetle. Um, another advantage that he has, another significant advantage, is healing. Um, while, Blue, while I did say that Blue Beetle does have his support system, we haven't seen him use it all that much. Maybe that's just because he's so durable that he doesn't need to use it, but even so, we haven't seen him use it all that much, and it seems that um, Generator Rex is just way more reliable. Um, it seems to have gotten him out of worse situations before, so it looks like when it comes to healing, um, Generator Rex takes that category as well. Um, when it comes to smarts, this one's extremely close just because... Um, um, Blue Beetle does have his scarab, which allow him to, like, analyze everything about his opponent. But, you know, just when we're com comparing Jaime to, um, to Rex Salazar, I do believe that Rex does have the advantage in smarts as well. Um, however, those are where I personally believe that the advantages for Generator Rex stop. And I'll explain why when I explain, you know, Blue Beetle's advantages. Um, but now trying to figure, like, I'm going to figure out which, like, what categories they're actually, like, almost tied in. Or where it's like, you can't really give um, a significant edge to one character. Those two categories, I believe, are fighting skill, or, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat, and also agility. Um, Blue 
Blue Beetle has been said to have like superhuman agility before, um, but Generator Rex is like an extremely skilled acrobat and can increase this with like his punk busters if he needs to like jump extremely far. So, you know, both of them are extremely agile, I would say. And when it comes to hand to hand combat, both of them have fought um, other like extremely highly trained combatants before and they have come out victorious. So, I do believe that both of them are pretty good when it comes to fighting someone who's good at hand to hand combat. So, I can't really give an edge to either one of the characters there. Um, however, when it comes to Blue Beetle's advantages, well, let's talk about it. First of all, this is almost like a two-on-one match because of the Scarab. The Scarab allows Blue Beetle and the Scarab to actually, like, communicate with each other, um, without, with, like, I'm not sure if Blue Beetle can speak without the Scarab, like, without, um, without, like, I'm not sure if he can almost, like, talk to him telepathically. I'm not exactly sure about that. But basically, that gives them a huge strategic advantage. The Scarab can literally, like, scan, um, scan Generator Rex, and he can basically, like, um, tell, um, Blue Beetle what the, um, what he needs to know about him, you know, what he can do, and that almost gives him almost, like, a prep time advantage. Not exactly, but he can pretty much, like, scan him right off the bat. I'm not exactly sure how much he can scan of him, like, if he can actually say, like, oh, he has the smack hands or whatever, but he can probably tell him this is a guy that can create many different machines with his, um, with his body. So, you know, he can almost, like, adapt to it, like, as soon as possible, as soon as the fight starts, essentially, if the scarab just scans him just like that. Um, and, you know, we can also, like, again, it's just, it gives them a good strategy advantage, you know, being strategic over um, Generator Rex is, you know, we have this extremely smart scarab, which can tell the information to Jaime, and then they can work together and figure out a plan to actually take on um, Generator Rex and beat him while they are fighting him, essentially, because they can talk to each other um, telepathically, essentially. So that's, um, that's basically a big strategic advantage, and almost kind of like a prep time advantage, as I've said. Um, also, when it comes comes to versatility, yes, Generator Rex does have a lot of weapons, like, numerous weapons, like, well over probably, like, ten or something, like, he has a lot, um, and he can use many at the same time, like, two at the same time, but Blue, sorry, Blue Beetle, he has, like, it do we don't really know its limits, you know, like, we've seen him create, like, we've seen him almost, like, shoot a beam out of his chest, we've seen him grow extra fingers, we've seen him do, like, so many other different things, he can create energy blasters, he can create kryptonite energy blasters, which is another thing I was gonna say, um, if Blue Beetle scans him and he can actually figure out his weaknesses, whatever that may be, um, he can almost, like, immediately adapt to those weaknesses, um, you know, like, just like how he created kryptonite blasters for Superman, he can, let's say, like, let's say, is it, like, I'm not sure exactly what weaknesses he'd be able to figure out, but th the point is it wouldn't give him a disadvantage. If only, if anything, it would just give him an advantage or, or just wouldn't do anything at all. But the point is, you know, if he scans him and he figures out his weakness, then it will, then he will be able to change up his, his weapons and his fighting style if he really needs to in order to beat him. In my opinion, that's something I personally believe he could do. Also, if he scans, in, scans him and he actually does figure out, like, the kind of stuff he can create, like the smack hands, then Blue Beetle... Who's to say that Blue Beetle couldn't exactly copy what Generator Rex has? Um, because essentially, it seems that Blue Beetle doesn't really have a limit to what he can create. He's, he's created so many different things. He's created, like, a freaking sword and a shield and different energy constructs in the past. Um, and even if you're saying, oh, like, he wouldn't be able to scan him and figure that out, okay, that might be true, but as soon as Generator Rex whips out the smack hands, um, Blue Beetle would be able to do the exact same thing. And even though I did say that Blue, that, um, Gener the Blue, sorry, Generator Rex does have a strength advantage over him, he wouldn't as soon as Blue Beetle whips them out as well. And there are some questionable things that he might not be able to copy, like the Rex ride, like his motorcycle, but something as simple as two gigantic hands, I think that's something that Blue Beetle would be able to copy. Um, because he doesn't really seem to have a limit. If he needs to have some sort of weapon for the job, he can just create it. The Scarab can create it for him. So again, something as simple as the Smack Hands or just like a, dr like a saw or something like that, or a drill, I personally do believe that, that Blue Beetle would be able to copy. Meaning that any sort of advantage that that, um, the Generator Rex has over, um, Blue Beetle, like, when it comes to strength with the Smack Hands, Blue Beetle would be able to copy, um, which kind of almost negates that, um, that advantage, in my opinion. Um, however, trying to, in other, in other news, um, sorry, not other news, um, um, speed. This is another thing that I personally believe that, um, that Blue Beetle 
that Blue Beetle triumphs over Generator Rex. Because Blue Beetle, he's been able to move faster than the eye can track. He can move and almost like be seen like multiple places at once. And that's much faster than Generator Rex has been doing on the ground. On the air, it is hard to say because Blue Beetle can change his speed depending on if he needs to. Um, so in the air, it's hard to say who's faster. But on the ground, I definitely have to say that Blue Beetle is faster when it comes to not only fighting, but also moving around on the ground. Um, that's something that I definitely say for Blue Beetle. However, now getting into probably the most important part of the video. If some of you are still, still skeptical about this, and I can understand why, because some of the reasoning hasn't been the best so far, um, but here's really where I believe that Blue Beetle takes the win. Um, basically, the two categories are durability and destructive capability. In other words, how much they can take and dish out. And personally, I believe that Blue Beetle wins by a pretty big margin in both of the in both of these categories. First of all, talking about durability. Blue like Generator X has survived a bolt of lightning without any serious injury, and that's something extremely impressive. I and mean, he's taking like hits from giants before, giant EVOs, and that's something extremely impressive as well. However, Blue Beetle has survived atmospheric re-entry without any sort of like no, like, there hasn't been any sort of damage to him. Like, he was fine after that. He's been, like, hit to the ground by Lobo and was okay. And Lobo is the same Lobo that can, like, be compared to Superman before. That can give Superman a good run for his money. He's essentially like a bounty hunter for Kryptonians, essentially. And I don't care how strong you want to say the smack hands are, they're not going to be up to the same level as Lobo, probably. Lobo could probably lift more than, than the smack hands, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, that's something that I personally say, you know, when it comes to durability. And also, you know, like he's tanked a nuke before and that's something much more than um than anything that uh that, that Generator Rex has tanked before. You know, Generator Rex hasn't tanked a nuke, to, to my, from my knowledge, he hasn't had that sort of durability level. Um, so yeah, personally, when it comes to durability, I say that Blue Beetle far outclasses him. And when you really think about it, anything that Generator Rex would be able, I'm getting into destructive capability now, anything that Generator Rex would be able to do, it wouldn't really phase Blue Beetle much at all. He does have like giant smack hands and a drill and anything like that, but the Scarab is, seemed to be like indestructible, you know, like falling from, falling from orbit without taking any injury that's insane and you know anything that and like you know taking hits from extremely powerful characters anything that generator rex could do to him blue beetle has either faced someone stronger than that or he's just faced it before and when it comes to blue beetle's destructive capability again he can unleash a nuke according to the um scarab's own estimations he's able to unleash a nuke um and you know like other um Sorry, no, no, Nuke is obviously, because, uh, sorry, Nuke is obvious because he's done it before, but for the Scarab's own estimation, he's been, he's, he should be able to have, like, weapons that can destroy cities, and even, like, he even has, like, one, one weapon that can destroy an entire planet. If we focus that right on Generator Rex, I'm sorry, Generator Rex, even with his healing, he's not going to be able to survive that. Um, apparently, also, he's been able to, like, the Scarab's own estimation, he's been able, like, apparently he has weapons that might even be able to hurt the Spectre, and this is the same Spectre that's like made up of inter of eternity. He's the same specter that's the physical embodiment of God's vengeance. So when you really think about it, when it comes to how much he can take and how much he can dish out, Generator Rex just can't keep up with Blue Beetle. And also, again, Blue Beetle can just scan Generator Rex at the beginning, figure out exactly what he's capable of, and he can adapt, like, exploiting his weaknesses. And, you know, Generator Rex just doesn't have a scarab that allows him to keep up with everything that Blue Beetle can do. So, in my opinion, the winner is Blue Beetle. So guys, I really hope you enjoy this episode. I know some of the reasoning might not have been like great, um, but this was pretty hard to decide. Um, I know that I did, I did say that it, that it isn't all too close, and personally that's just because of the whole durability versus um, um, destructive capability thing. Um, that, that's, that's really where I feel that Blue Beetle takes the win here. But, you know, tell me what you guys think. If you guys think that Blue, that, that Generator Rex will win, please tell me in the comments below. I really want to know. And if you did enjoy this episode, please give me a like. Comment down below what other fights you'd like to see, you know, for Season 7 and what you thought of it. You know, maybe if you think Blue Beetle would win for other reasons, tell me in the comments below as well. And, you know, if you could subscribe, that would be so great. That would really help me out. I'm trying to make these videos as much as I can, and I would love to have you guys along for the ride. So thank you guys so much for watching. It really means so much to me. And next time on Hoodwin and Why, we got a battle royale between the three movie Batmen. See you all then.